Welcome to the Cancer Me Now podcast. So he's saying to me that bloody, um, you're talking beers. I've got to tell you this. Talk, talk to me. Talk, I, bought, talk beers. I, I bought a six pack of VBs because I was doing a, um, like a, an ad for VB, but I was doing like, I was shooting the, um, like the, oh, you know, the thing they send to the, the person who yeah. just makes the decision. The, the fucking the like audition. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did the audition. So I'm in there. Bought the VBs. I tipped one of them on my head. I brushed my teeth with one. Like it, was, it was a pretty funny ad. I, I don't know if I could show it. I probably could show it. Show How it recent later. was this? Like last week. Oh, really? And I didn't get the fucking ad. Fuck. Fuck you, VB. Wake up themselves. Well, VB, Lordy's having a go at me because I had VB in the fridge. Well, that's why. There was four cans in there. There's now one can in there. VB's all right. It's fine, yeah. but they didn't pick me. Well, no, actually, fuck VB then. Fuck VB. Fuck VB. All right, you fucking dirty fuck. Talking about local brew, Steel City. Oh, let's talk Steel City that still hasn't sponsored the show. This is the only reason we're talking about him. I won a carton. Had a you mouthy a fan of the podcast. I believe his name was Dom. Dom no, Drew. Drew, sorry. Drew. Fuck, how, how do I know that? Because he messaged you he as well. He messaged me today. Big he Drew, lit up. bad Drew. Our mighty Newcastle Knights were taking on his team, the Gold Coast Titans. Who picks the Gold Coast Titans Especially as their team? If you live in Newcastle. Fucking loser. Idiot. Any and, he, and also stupid, he goes, yeah, I'll take you on for a carton this weekend. Really? I was like, so you're, put, you're having bets with podcast fans. Yeah. And what's going on with the glasses, by the way? You're wearing sunglasses I've got the, indoors. I've, I've got the stroke eye going. <laughs> what? I think the stroke eyes. I've got like the stroke eye already. Oh, why? What's up? I don't know. I'm tired. I'm a bit, I'm a bit run down. It's been a lot of big weekends. If you don't know, um, Bluey gets this weird eye problem. Like Forrest Whitaker. He, Forrest Whitaker? <laughs> Who's Forrest Whitaker? You know, if we can get a picture of Forrest Whitaker up. Where? He's the, he's the, <laughs> Where are we going to put it? We don't have a screen in here. Uh, <laughs> Lordy, can you get a photo of Forrest Whitaker? on your phone and I'll get it up somebody and show it. Screen. We need like a screen somewhere, but I don't know where to put it. Where could we, we could hang it from the ceiling. Yeah, but you want it to come up. But then that would fucking hit it. And then that's going to cover up the Yeah, no, no, Can we, we get it? Can we get a screen implanted into the into bull's, the bull's head? head? Like yeah. a little iPod touch or something. Um, Forrest Whitaker. And he, anyway, he's got this crazy wok eye that when I get a bit tired, I, I get this weird wok eye. Because I remember you started having one on the show. On the show. It's concerning. And I was like <laughs> genuinely- <laughs> Right, yeah. that's Forrest Whitaker. I do know who that is. I don't is. know if you can. Yeah, that's yeah, Forrest yeah. Whitaker, guys. Yeah, so he does have the eye. Yeah. So does. So when the first time that your beautiful missus, who I've still never met, you met, you met her at the wedding. I <laughs> met her in two weeks. Um, <laughs> when she first saw the wog, the wog eye, wog eye. <laughs> oh, <laughs> don't say that. I can say wog. I wasn't. <laughs> when you with the, the wog eye. Yeah. Why is it wok? Like wonky. Yeah, it's like wok, like a wok eye. It's, isn't that a term? Like a wok eye? I think eye. it's a racist term against Asians. That's what you're using. Oh, like wok. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you, mate. Yeah, that is a slur. It's now, a slur. Now I think about it. Can a, you stop slurring? It's a heavy racial slur. And not slur. only is your eye slurring, but your words are slurs. Yeah, I'm, t- I'm run down. What's happened? You've had the last two days off. I know. But because of the weather, obviously the East Coast is getting pumped with rain at the moment. It's been very wet. It's, it's been very, very wet. wet. The I, big wet. I went outside this morning. For once, and um, <laughs> <laughs> kind of burnt, and I got the old high pressure hose, and I had to hose off these fucking worms. Ooh. There was little—I don't know if they were leeches or worms—but everywhere on the fucking on the tiles out the front, everywhere on the tiles were little worms. Jeez, you would have done a job on them with the and gurney. They smelled, they stunk, and I, I, I used the normal hose, <laughs> and they wouldn't come off. So I had to get the gurney out after I went to the gym and got huge. That so was out the front. Just still a little bit of pre-workout left in my system. Just going, I'm going to kill something. <laughs> Jeez, the gurney would have made light work of the uh, the worms. We'd cut them in half. No, they were, these were like dried worms. Well, they're not, 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 not dry, no more, they're not. No, they're back in the garden where they belong. Now, quick housekeeping before we get on with the show. Welcome to the Cancer Me Now podcast. My name is Isaac Butterfield. This is Josh Bluey Nielsen. Go and check out his page. It's a daily blue that he uses once every now and then. You've been using it a little bit more. Yeah, I made a, I'm making a point. You've got 10,000 followers, don't you? You've got more than that. A bit more. 15. Oh, fuck yeah. Let's yeah. get into 20K. Um, yeah. Now, today's show is going to be a little bit different. Mm. At the one hour mark. We're out. We're out. You know where we're going? Straight to Patreon. Because on YouTube and on Spotify, there's some things you can't say. And I want to head over to the Patreon people at one hour on the dot. Lordy, you're watching the time, aren't you? Yeah. One hour on the dot. We're going to stop. We're going to ring the bell. That's what the bell's for. Thank Christ. It makes sense of that stupid bell. I thought it was for feeds and beers. Once the bell had. rings, we go to Patreon and you can get in on the Patreon action for $1 a month. Okay, $1. That's all we're asking. You can you can pledge more. 
Oh, if you want to pledge more, Amber heard it. Pledge, pledge, it, pledge, pledge all of it and not pay us. Yeah. <laughs> but you got to pay. Unlike Amber Heard, you do have to front up some cash. Yeah, or we'll treat go full Johnny Depp on you. And we beat, will and beat you up. Um, oh, Sue. Oh yeah, or, or get violent. <laughs> all right, whatever. <laughs> allegedly. So one hour allegedly definitely didn't happen. Johnny Depp's alleged. Uh, we will be jumping into that. Can you throw me that stubby holder so I can? Uh, oh, oh, Coke, no sugar. Black beer, black beer. Imagine if they send us a carton. Yeah. Dan and come on the podcast. Great guy. Gave me a six pack. Thanks, bro. It's not like he's got six pack. You think he could? He owns the. Fucking beer. You can do more than a six pack. She sent me a truckload, mate. Tight. I wanted I wanted you to tell, turn me into an alcoholic. Yeah. So yeah, the worms were an issue. Yeah, but not no more than not. No, they're, they're fucking they're brown bread. They're gone. They're gone. But I even like I had to clean my driveway because there was fucking moss growing on it. We've only been in this house for a year and there's fucking moss growing. It's uh we've had a lot of it's rain. It's been the big wet. Heavy precipitation. I was at the beach, was working at the beach today mm. at a house on the beach. All the sand. At Bar Beach in Newcastle is gone. I'm sure it's similar. A lot of spots on the east coast, like just rocks. Really? It looks like yeah, it's fucked. It's wow. going to take a long time for that to come back. I don't know. Oh, I don't know if the sand washes back eventually, or it's just like so. You know, you are beautiful. Like we're blessed. Like we got like the best beaches mm. ever, in mm. my opinion. They're, they're not no more. We don't. They're fucked. So they're it's like just rocks. They're like the English beaches. Yeah, no, nah, not even because you know they're all peb- English beaches like pebbly pebbles. and shit. This is just like. Oh, boulders. Rocks, yeah. Just big, flat, like shit. Yeah. What That's I imagine good. was under, obviously what was under the sand. But That's all the good. sand's fucking gone. That's not good. Oh, mm, nope. Yeah. You look nope. at places up the road from us, it's Stockton, and that whole area's been eaten away. That's going to get swallowed by the sea soon. But, you know, I remember years ago hearing a bloke called, um, fucking what's his name, mates with Graham Hancock um, on Rogan's podcast talk about whatever his fucking name is. I do know his name. He's a very interesting fellow. Anyway, he's- Can't be too interesting. <laughs> I can't remember his name. <laughs> Fuck, what's his name? I'm going to Google him. Right. Um, but he was talking about- Talk about Miami? What? No. Miami's going to get washed into the sea soon, they reckon, as well. Really? Yeah. Well, back basically, this is what this dude was saying, was back in the Dizzy, um, oh, hang on, I can't do two things at once. Mm. Graham Hancock. <laughs> Friend, interesting. <laughs> Joe Rogan. Um. I can't type and talk at the no, same time. It's, no. It just turns to shit. My missus hammered me the other day. She's like, I can do two things at once because I was into it. I had some Netflix on. You know, I don't know. How does it go with you and Claire, like, picking, like, a Netflix show? Because my, like, obviously just submit and go, yeah, whatever you, you want, Jesse, we can put on what you want. And then I'll notice, like, 10 minutes into whatever I've fucking <laughs> said we'll watch. She's on a phone. I'm yeah. like, and she goes, I can do two things at once. I'm like, well. But sometimes the two things at once is, like, you can actually – I don't mind watching some shows with what looking at my phone because I jump on eBay and look at Pokemon prices and stuff. Yeah, and all, that oh, really I'm, all that really t- handsome virgin shit. If I'm getting like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> if I'm if I'm get, if I'm texting like if I'm in like a text thread, I'll pause and I'm in the car listening to a podcast. I'll pause the podcast because oh. I want to like I want to give so the you, podcast so, my full attention. So you're driving, no, no and, and texting to a podcast, building scaffold and. Typing at the same time. And drunk. I remembered it. I didn't even get it come up. I remembered it. I knew as soon as I typed that Shut name. up. You just saw it. Don't no, pretend. Look, 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 ready? You don't pretend you remembered his name. No, ready? Didn't even come up. The only thing that's up there is the OnlyFans, which Some is on my shortcuts. <laughs> 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 I love how you like you subscribe to all these people's OnlyFans under the guise of like work. You're like, oh, yeah, we'll check out this person's OnlyFans. It's for content. It's You're just hilarious. a pervert. I am a pervert. Yeah. But no, we, we catch up on some people in there. Yeah, um, I'm sure you do. <laughs> Randall Carlson. Randall Carlson. Oh, RC. Yeah, RC, big RC. Yeah. He um, speaks a lot about uh, giant impacts that create these big global melting events during the Ice Age or, 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 or that happened during the Ice Age. This is what he predicts, these big asteroidal impacts that make these big melts. So if you imagine the polar ice caps now, that's obviously a very icy area, right? Yeah. Back in the day during the um, last Ice Age 10,000 years ago, there was this mile-thick uh, mile sheet of ice moving across North America. So everything, and this is what people talk about with old civil, like ancient civilizations, 10,000 years ago, anything that was underneath that big, thick piece of ice that was moving was just rubbed out, like yeah. absolutely disintegrated Gaunt into dust. Like the worms on your driveway under the gurney. Well, I actually um, had a call from Randall Carls in the Savo and he, <laughs> he said, mate, you've done it. You've done it. <laughs> you, you've treated the worms. You've mimicked this ice sheet just by That's the what gurney. they call it. They call it the gurney, the, the gurney high. special. Um, <laughs> the earth gurney. The earth gurney. Um, and, yeah, so he was talking about that. And so basically what would happen – was when all of this water was sucked up into the polar ice caps that were huge on the, all over the globe, 
obviously the water's got to be displaced, right? If you take a bucket out of a out of a, a pool, a couple of buckets out of a pool, you notice the the height goes down. Of course. Right? And then you put it back in, it goes back up. So the same thing happens with the ocean. You suck out the ice, or it goes into ice and the water goes out. It leaves the shoreline or it changes, the, it changes where the shoreline is. So the shoreline today is different to where it was 10,000 years ago in the Ice Age. So if you're an Aboriginal person living here 10,000 years ago, your shoreline was actually like 20 kilometres further into the ocean yeah, we are. than we are now. So because of the caps melting... That's why the shoreline is like there's more water basically. Well, does that make sense? Or wouldn't the water still be because it's still in there? Yeah. In, oh, I don't no, know. but it's glacier, so it's moving on land. It's not in the water. Uh, right. Okay. Okay. That, that makes, makes sense. That makes more sense. So it's actually sucked out of the ocean and it's glaciers onto, land. onto the land. Okay. That's that makes crazy sense. that glaciers do that. Yeah, glaciers are mad. So, uh, respect the oh, shout out glaciers. Oh, shout out the glaciers. Shout out glaciers. All the glaciers out there. Keep doing you. Hey, thanks for watching glaciers. And yeah. they're all on Patreon. Too. There's a all few the glaciers on Patreon. Shout no, out the, no. the Patreon glaciers. I actually uh, subscribe to one of the glaciers. But, um, Only, only fans. fans pages. Oh, be- icy tits. <laughs> now, when that's uh, so, so there's all this. Let's say 20 kilometers of land past where you were looking the other day, where that erosion's happening, and you think about all of the things that would have happened in that area of 20 kilometers because everything back then also happened near the coast. Mm. So all of these like these civil Civilizations, and this is why they see um, a lot of structures underneath the ocean, like 20, 30, 40 metres underneath the ocean, like in places like Japan and things like that, because they were built there when it was the edge of the edge of the water or it was above ground, obviously. So you imagine how many things have been lost over that period of time. Fuck yeah. And it just recycles and recycles and wherever, yeah. the, um, wherever the edge of the ocean the people follow. So back in the day it wouldn't be a problem because no one was really building shit except for the Japanese, obviously. They just lost their building. Yeah. Sort of like what people are experiencing, as you said, in Miami and those types. And Stockton, and Stockton, and Stockton yeah. yeah. So this is just part of the cycle. Like you, you, if you build a house near the ocean, this is something you have to deal with. Yeah, and yeah. people have been done dealt with it for generations. And ironically, they're the most expensive houses too. <laughs> the first ones to go. Yeah, they're always the first ones to go. You watch like um, what's that movie? Um, twenty twelve. Well, yeah, twenty twelve. Or I was thinking day after day uh, after day tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Um, I always get that confused with tomorrow when the war began. Definitely. Also, great. Did we have to watch that in high school? Uh, I believe I, I had to watch that I in didn't. high school. I watched it by cho- I watched it by choice. It was no. actually not bad. <laughs> no, nah, it's a good movie. So in the day after tomorrow, um, the big tidal wave hits and all the poor on the um in the first row of houses just get smished. Snapped. All the sing all the single mothers that have gone in there and Amber heard their husbands, all the real estate agents, they're all fucked. All good. their sunglasses are flying off so. their BMWs with 150,000 Ks on the clock. Gone. Good. What, what fake tan washed off? It's just like this pool of like fake tan, <laughs> like the first wave. <laughs> a couple of Oriton bags, yeah. few it's fucking like, um, Louis Vuitton bags floating down the fucking freeway. It's like, you know, in Thailand where they had that like really big tsunami and it was all the mud washed in the water, but it wasn't actually mud. It was just fake tan from the real estate agents and, <laughs> yes. and the housewives <laughs> that got did wiped that hit, out. Did that hit Bali, that tsunami? Potentially. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know enough about. I don't tune into much. Mate. We don't normally talk about um, natural you know, disasters. Natural disasters on this uh, on this show, but there's a lot of flooding going on. Yeah, and it's pretty hectic because water is one of those things. Like, like even well, it's not as. I mean, we don't really deal with it as much as fire, but we've been getting pizzled with floods and fire last. Well, we had floods like. What do you reckon? It's easier to stop a flood or a fire. I reckon it's definitely a fire. Oh, you got no, you got no say in either of them, do you? Well, at least you can start trying to put it out. With yeah, a flood, you, what do you do? You just go, fuck, there's so much. The volume of water is insane. Fire up the jet ski. Yeah, yeah. take it head on. Yeah, just me. Um, yeah, no, but the fire, like we had crazy. When were the last, The was it 2020, the big bushfires we had? Or yes. That was like, in, like, they can't do anything about it. They're yeah. just like, fuck, we just got to let it burn out. Like, So what do you think about ScoMo being over in uh, Hawaii, who was the Prime Minister at the time? Yeah, it was a bad time, bad. wasn't it? What do you think about Albo being in the Ukraine at the time of the floods? Well, <sighs> See, everyone's defending him. Well, I, I, I genuinely agree. I think it's like it's not as the big of a deal because he was like, Scomo was on holidays. Well, he's not in Hawaii. Like a nice resort in Hawaii and the Ukraine aren't exactly. They're a bit different, right? Yeah. And, like, and Scomo was genuinely on holidays. Elbows like shaking hands and kissing babies. Yes. Yeah. And I don't know what Scomo would have done if he was here. I don't what know if he's going to throw, gonna do? throw a bucket. It's like not a good look. As we said on the Mum and Dad show this week, it's not like he's Tony Abbott who actually is a firefighter yeah, or a, a reserve. Real man's man. But also, what the fuck is Albo going to do in the Ukraine? What do any of them do? Like it's all like- What are you doing? Visuals. It's all optics, isn't oh, it? Like, just, 
So he's like, building and splitting up. Uh, Dominic Perrottet, the state oh, premier, he was Perot. in somewhere that just got snapped by a flood. And yeah. I heard on the radio today, they're like, and 400 million in aid. What we've just committed to. To the Ukraine. 400 million aid, Lord. How about you fix the fucking hospitals here, Albo? 400 million. They get us a couple of cartons of Steel City. You could. Almost <laughs> almost enough for the show for the rest of the year. Then it'd just about do us, I reckon. Um, yeah. So he's over there doing that. And Don Perrottet was in somewhere on the mid-north coast or wherever, just got smashed by floods and uh, got – Got his photo with like a bucket, like some shop was flooded and he's got like a bucket and he's with like- a bucket. And he's like throwing a bit of water out. He's like, my job here is done. I bet there was a hole in the bucket that he put in it. Yeah, 100%. I don't like him. Perite. He's got too many kids. How many has he got? So he's the Premier of New South Wales, if you don't know, and he has, I think, eight kids. Fucking horny bastard. Great swimmers. Man, he must, yeah, send, lethal, them, to, send them to the flood. Lethal semen. Christ. Wow. Um, I, did, I just realized um, Elon Musk has seven kids. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Elon Musk has seven kids. Not bad for a man with autism. Yeah, because he's big on the um. Apparently, like our uh, out like we're gonna have a population dip in like forty seven years babies. or something. Seven babies. Perite has. Yes. Pa- Perite has seven. Yeah. I think Musk has seven too. Mm. I think he's big on the Musk is big on the the uh, the idea that there's gonna be a, like a population dip in like the next kind of like four or five decades. Yeah. And it's gonna change everything because like we're going from like a housing crisis and like there's not enough jobs and not and enough food. Too much. Then there's going to be like housing mm. prices are going to plummet because there's going to be heaps of empty houses. There's not going to be enough labour. There's going to be like huge labour shortages and everything's going to like change completely because people now are waiting longer to have kids. Like all the boomers are going to die. Yeah. Like thank Christ. Sorry if you're a boomer, you were dead. <laughs> you should, I, yeah, I wish nothing but it'll fade on the boomers. <laughs> <laughs> well, they fucked it up for us. So <laughs> fuck off. What did they fuck up though? The housing market. Yeah, fair. Yeah. That's but it. That, but we, we would have done the same thing. Yeah, but that I would like. Then I get a house. <laughs> like, you know, if everyone's like, "Oh, the boomers, they bought it." It's like, fuck. If we were them, we would have done the 100%, same. Hundred percent. I'd have. Like, I'd be booming up massively. Fuck the future generation. 100%. Sort it out yourself, you losers. If we were just on the raw end. Yeah. Like, if it was us, we'd have fucked it for someone else. Like, That's why I like. I dig a bit of coal out every arvo. <laughs> yeah, I just, just dig it out. I just sell it back to fucking <laughs> some coal company. Hundred percent. I just say, yeah. I'm doing me now. I'm, I'm doing, doing my bit. I'm, I'm doing, doing my, my bit. bit. Yeah. But yeah, so that's that's what we've got to look forward to in the next couple of decades. Oh, that's anyway. good. But that's why Musk and that have so many kids because I think Elon's like kind of in a way practicing what he preached. He's like, you aren't having enough kids. So he's had his fucking seven kids or whatever. So why do you think people aren't having kids? Is it too expensive? I think oh, I think there'd be heaps of reasons. I think like, well, people are more focused on their careers for starters. There's also more- um, uh, contraception available, hundred percent. Kids, are, kids are useless now too. I remember back in the day, like people were punching out kids because you could send those little fuckers to work when they were yeah, six. Yeah, yeah. They could start contributing. Now, like labor laws and all that fucking rubbish. So you can't. Kids are useless until they're like fucking thirty. Thirty, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, look at your brothers. Like they're fucking. Oh, I was just about to say, Finton was over this afternoon. Oh Christ! Seventeen years old. He just started year twelve. You know, they start year tw- the final year of school into the last part of the year before whatever who gives a shit so Finney <coughs> little <laughs> <laughs> he um he's a beautiful man no he's alright he's got a lot of pimples um Finney he um we're talking about his first car today has he got one or is he well, in the market for one he's got two and a half grand saved up don't know how he's <laughs> never had a job in how's, his life how the fuck's he got two and a half grand no idea work. no idea he just got a job actually at a big retail store. Ooh. Target. Nice. Woo. Anyway, Don't so- catch him um, sniffing the women's underwear. <laughs> oh, mate, he's, that's how he got the job. <laughs> get out of uh, there. Get out of there, mate. Hey, Chase me out with a broom. <laughs> so he's over here today and, I, and, he, and mum's going, oh, so Finney's got to get a car. I was like, oh, okay. So you got two and a half grand. I was like, okay, whatever. That's how much I had. Yeah. And Grand kicked in a thousand for mine. Nice. So, and she's going to do the same for Finton. Nice. Right. Which is lovely. And then she said, you know, rather than you get it when I die, I'd rather buy, I'd rather buy, help you buy your first car. See you enjoy it now. Beautiful. Right. Now, which is better than just giving it to you when you die and they go and blow it at their nose or whatever. <laughs> which is probably That's the most likely scenario. Especially with my brothers. Let's be honest. Uh, or me when I was that age. <laughs> now, um, we had this discussion. He said, there's no, um, there's no cars for three and a half grand. And I said, I'm sure you can get something. He goes, I don't want anything with over 150,000 Ks on the clock. I was like, why? What do you mean? He goes, I want my first car to be around the ten to $12,000 mark. I'm like, fucking what? <laughs> and mum goes, yeah, there's no cars available for uh, four or $5,000. I said, 
bullshit. Well, not with the fucking dream team looking for no, it. I Mum and Finton. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, it's so bad. How good is it when just people have no idea? Yeah. And when it's family too. Oh, my brothers, they 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 took Mum for a fucking ride with yeah, that. Yeah, it sounds like they it. They were like, oh, Mum, we can't get a car front to fucking 15 k. It's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, Christ. You better optional extras. Oh, you got to get that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, fa- family are the best, aren't they? Well, and when you've got like cl- clueless younger siblings, my like, little brother's just like- same thing. He's just like, Ugh, just no idea how the painful. world works. It's funny. It's, it's funny. It, you ha- there is a stage where it's like, it's excruciating. And then you just get to the stage where it's like, fuck. Like, you, you're the oldest, don't you? Yeah, there's only two. There's me and I've got a younger brother. So he, um, does he have it easier than you did? Uh, I feel like, yeah, in a lot of ways, yeah. Yeah, so Because like, same. You, you're out there just carving your own path. Yep. Like in the bamboo and yep. like, you know, in Little Vietnam, lunch. you're just getting after it. Getting after you got to figure it out. We then ran into the world along. like D-Day. Exactly. And just these, the front line. Yep. And these are like the British generals sitting back. We're Operation Human Shield just getting yeah. fucking blown to bits. To pieces. Oh, and then they just, we cut a nice path for them and they swan on It them makes in. me sick. I hate the youth. Generation yeah. Z. See, this is, and this just relays the point we were just making. If we were the boomers, I would have no remorse for the youth because I'd be like, no, fuck you. I've yeah. got to do it hard. I am buying seven houses. I am going to negatively gear them all. You're not having anything and I'm fucking driving a big diesel chewing car. Yep. Fuck you all. In defense of the boomers though, like their parents, correct me if I'm wrong, but their parents would have grown up in the Great Depression. Oh, fuck yeah. So they would have been hard to deal with those parents. I mean, I know what my my grandparents are like when it comes to things like healthcare and stuff like that. Like Pop's got a terrible back at the moment, pinched yeah. nerve. What are you doing about it, Pop? <laughs> I'm going to a doctor. That's gay. <laughs> I'm going to a physio. I don't trust Far them. Out. Yeah. I mean, it's just ridiculous dealing with these people. These boomers are painful. Yeah. But they grew up with parents who were just like fresh off the boats from fucking um, yeah. the UK. You the know? UK and like proper. Proper hardships. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, I get it. And I feel like it's sort of the same with like, you know, as you said, with the younger brothers and sisters and all that type of stuff, the youth. Like they've got it so easy. Everyone thinks the generate, I think it's, so I know. I'm sure. like, I've just turned thirty, and I think like you're in your late twenties. Like you sort of realizing what? like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> but like everyone thinks the next generation's like fucking soft, mm. <laughs> like because I do, and I know like the like my old man thinks we're all very fucking yeah. soft, yeah. And I'd imagine his old man would think that they're fucking, and well, they'd be sick at producer us. Producer Lord, he's three or four generations old. I mean, I know, I know. Are. He doesn't think very highly of us. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you? Pretty bloody gay. So um, so um. <laughs> So, yeah, it's uh, – oh, Vinton's giving me the shits with this. And Jonas, <laughs> Jonas did the same thing. So did Darcy. Like, Just freeloaders. But I got a car for three and a half. That one up there that we've shown on the podcast before. And the I got pussy a, wagon. The pussy wagon. The toe, the toe ball. The toe ball. Sit on this, love. Uh, let me lube it up. <laughs> um, and these guys are walking around with, like, brand new fucking – not yeah. brand new, but, like, 100,000 Ks on the clock. Like, N- fuck off. Nicer than we had, Isaac. It makes me sick. Yeah. makes me sick. And the same with schoolies. Yeah. You know what I did for schoolies? Nothing. Couldn't I didn't afford go to schoolies. It. Couldn't afford it. You know what Finton's doing? He'd be doing something. Fiji! I was say Vegas. Or- Fiji! Is he actually? Yes. For a bloke without a job, that's pretty <laughs> <I> extravagant. <know. laughs> it's what he brings up a like, dad. Who's hey. going to Fiji for schoolies? Well, some of my mates did, but they all had jobs. They went and they were two, or not two, but they didn't finish school. Days. I know blokes that went to age. Bali. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Fiji. Fiji. <clears throat> so that's for, that's for wealthy families. And fucking Finton, apparently, and his mates. Dog. Fuck, piss me off. Absolute bullshit. I should bring him in here for an intervention. Just just whoop him. <laughs> just whoop him Break on out. the Patreon. Just give it to Finton Break for out 40 that. minutes. <laughs> Sit down, dickhead. I tell you. <laughs> just go oh, fucking say this something. This is why I hate you. No, he's a good kid. He's just a fucking. Oh. Yeah. It's Darcy too. Don't let him get away. No, nah, I'll give it to Darcy at your buck show. How good's Darcy? Yeah, he's I good. Big tall timber. Yeah, he's and he was fucking blind too. He was. Yeah. He was talking it up for weeks. Going, I'm gonna get so fucking drunk. He was drunk. excited. Same with the wedding. He's like, I'm gonna get so fucking drunk. Wedding, mate. Maybe fucking he's up. <laughs> like he embarrassed himself. But he can just drink piss like nothing else because he's, he's a big huge. Man. He's 115 kilos, my height, and he just drinks. I bet he eats like a horse. too. Oh my god! Yeah. Like I think he had like. On the on the Buck show, by the time I had three beers, he'd had eight. Some blokes are just like that, hey. They're I know. Just, they just pulled bang. it down. And I'm like, you know, I'm not like a slow drinker. Nah. I have, I have good. Yeah, thanks, bro. <laughs> I put him down. The beast. The beast from the Middle East. Yeah, um, grog monster. The grog the gog just monster. Delete and schooner. <laughs> get out of my way. <laughs> Go on, next. <laughs> um, but yeah, he, um, talking about monsters, I actually, I probably shouldn't say this out too loud, but. So no one's listening. It was. <laughs> I saw something out the front of my house recently. 
like this. I don't know if you saw this, Lordy, but there was this bloke <laughs> hoeing into a bag full, a full bag of chips. Must have been his lunch. Hoeing into a full bag of Smith's. I think they were chicken chippies. Is this some kind of smear campaign against me? <laughs> I saw Josh Bluey Nielsen, Lordy. <laughs> Lordy, I'll send you the, video, the photo right now. Oh, you've got it. You've got it. Let's put this in. Um, we might have to. Do you want to? Might have to blur out your phone number. Uh, no, that'd be good for business. That's <laughs> okay. Plug it. Plug it on the business. That's oh. the, that's the business. That's the company phone number. That's fine. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, that is you. Is it not? <laughs> Smash it. Reading your phone. Probably on bloody OnlyFans. <laughs> Smashing it. And you know what? I had like. 15 minutes to take that photo because you were really giving it hell. <laughs> I, every time I pull up the, the- I saw you at the shops. Well, the Woolies near where you live. Because we were shopping. They do these deadly chicken wings. I don't know, in the little hot bay marine. That's my treat when I'm, I'm going, fuck, I've got to do this fucking podcast. So I've got to give myself a treat. It's KFC. Why wouldn't you go to KFC? Nah, these wings are good, man. The Woolies wings. <clears> but um, And I always sit out, I pull up because I'm not late and I, and I just stuff my face and listen to a bit of Rogan before I come in. Just but I'm always up, yeah. I'm always conscious of the fact that like there's a perfect view from your balcony <laughs> or your office to me feeding me face, and I'm surprised that hasn't happened before now. I was because I do it like every week. I was sitting in my office watching uh, editing a video. You could get like, and I was just watching you. You get a nice montage like every week of me just like demolishing. It's either Twiggy sticks, chicken wings, or or like a little packet of chippies or something. What's your go to drunk food? Oh, snack packs, kebabs and snack oh, packs. Lordy and I smashed them on the Gold Coast. Oh, we were on the Gold Coast. There'd be Brisbane some good snack packs up for there three to, days. Ooh, yeah. Every night for dinner, we had snack packs. <laughs> Phil, that, how were your poos after that? How are the bowel movements yeah. after? Explosive, oh. explosive. Yeah, Lordy's still clogged up. He reckons explosive. Mate. Snack packs are the gun. There's a there's a really good one. Mayfield West in uh, oh, near the where charcoal we are. chicken. The, that that one? the best snack packs. Right. Holy fucking shit. Mate, if you don't know what a, a HSP, Halal, a halal snack, snack, snack Pack, yeah. They are, it's basically a bed of chips. Oh. Then some kebab meat, maybe a bit of lamb, maybe a bit of chicken, maybe <sighs> a bit of beef. It's going to be mixed. A bit of mixed. Could be anything. Mixed. Well, Mi- mixed. I don't like <laughs> getting chicken kebabs at night. That's Call oddly, me crazy. That's oddly specific. Well, I, the way I think about it is if you're less likely to get food poisoning from beef. You might yeah. get like trigonosis or something, but you're less likely to get like chicken salmonella poisoning. And I just see that big thing just spinning around like a big dilly. And I see it and I see old mate carving it. I'm like, ooh. That gets my piece hard when I see that. I'm Man, like, we were on the Gold Coast. <coughs> There'd be some good HSPs up on the Goldie. The dude's oh, making it. Yeah, I'm getting excited to All these Muslim it. guys like rocking out to the best Middle Eastern rap music yeah. I've ever heard. The it bros love their jobs. The, they the, do. They, they, you know, they, there's a saying that, you know, if you, if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. Those boys are fucking not working. They're right. loving it. And, and there's it, love. Like there's, if you get a good snack pack, there's like, you can taste the love. I haven't even finished about the snack pack. Bit of cheese. They put cheese on it. Fucking no. oath. There's Bit fucking cheese, cheese on just, it. Just fucking ask it. There's and then fucking cheese on it. A mountain of sauce. Yeah. All of the sauce. The holy trinity. What's your. <laughs> no, well, that's what you, like, that's a, that's a hell of a snack pack term. Like what sauce you want, boss? And you're like, holy trinity. Really? <laughs> so that's like garlic, garlic chili, garlic. hot chili and barbecue. Hot chili. Yeah. I've put. Uh, barbecue sauce and tomato sauce on hot chips, and yeah. it is a fucking choice. What's combo. your um, What's your snack pack sauce or like kebab sauce options? Kebab, I always go sweet chili and sour cream. Nice, don't mind that. Don't mind. Don't that. mind that at hot all. Hot chili, not so much. Lordy, what about you, mate? What are you? What you get? Given? What you given? Lordy doesn't buy food. Whatever Isaac's buying. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. normally how it goes. Yeah, you got to put your fucking microphone on, James. Has um, he got a mic? Yeah, there's one uh, sitting over there in the corner. Why don't you put it on for this episode? Been Plug win- it in. Been whinging about not having a mic for 30, Go on. 30 odd episodes. 30 odd years. We get you one and you don't use it. Plug it in. You're just, just like Finton. Oh, Darcy and Jubus, whatever his name is. <laughs> Judas. <laughs> Judas. Yeah, Judas is fucking right. Judas Butterfield. Judas is right. Look at this fucking idiot. It's dragging it along. What are you doing? <laughs> Pick it up. It's caught under the new microphone stand. Jesus Christ. Christ. You just you're the new Jamie, so we've got to like go to you with questions and stuff. Snack, so snack packs when I'm drunk, or <clears throat> if you've been going for a couple of days, and then you you know like sometimes you might pass out without having a feed. Yeah. So then you're like you've gone. That's never happened to me. No. I always get a feed in. And doesn't it make the world a difference? Where was I? no? You know what? You know when I didn't have a feed, the Buck Show. The Bucks. Oh, that's what I wanted to talk about on the Buck Show evening. Mm. Lordy, I've got some research for you. Where was the halal snack pack invented? Who made it up? That is, I do need to know that. <laughs> On the evening, that is crucial info. The evening of the Bucks party, we were at the Delaney Hotel in Newcastle on yeah. Derby Street, a very popular hotel. Just been refurbished. It's Done a great it's job. Great. Yeah. It's great. Up, uh, downstairs is still a pub. 
upstairs like a nightclub. Respect. And we went up there. Did you go upstairs? I went upstairs looking for you and you yep. weren't there. And I thought everyone had gone. And then I came down, you're all in that booth. Frenchie was getting strangled by the SAs. Some, some fucking lad, yeah. yeah. So I was up there and we're in the middle of the dance floor and there's people everywhere and you get recognised and all that type of stuff. Usually it's all sweet. You're like, oh, they're like, oh, you're that bloke, hey, how you doing? I'm like, yeah, mate, how you doing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Get out of me, fuck on my club. <laughs> Don't look at me. Go get me a drink or fuck off. Fuck off. No, I wouldn't get a drink from someone. I never accept drinks. That's I, a good move. I reckon that's someone has thought it'd be real funny to spike the butt. I, I would do yeah, that. I, don't, I would think that's funny. <laughs> so I was in the middle of the D floor and everyone's really nice at this point. And then I sort of turn my head and someone's giving me the finger. <laughs> How far away were they? Like fucking me to you. I was going to say, it would be funny to turn around someone's like, (laughs) fucking get that up, yeah. But it was more than that. They had their phone filming me. Fucking soft cock. Three girls. Oh, they were girls doing it? Yeah. Even better. So I'm up on assault charges. No, I I looked at it. Just why I hate girls. And this, she was, so she and her little mates were giving me the, this is probably some fucking 18 year old, all right? Don't care. Probably never watched the video, doesn't care to watch a video. Probably no. just heard from one of her friends that I'm a racist asshole or whatever and just go, Ooh. can't understand that, you know, people can have different opinions and, and be comedians. Um, Clout chase. Which is another problem with the fucking youth. Like these people just don't understand comedy at all. Well, not just comedy, but life. Life or- I'm concerned about the youth, Isaac. Are you? Yeah. Granddad. I'm concerned about them. They're fucking pretty dumb. They are fucking stupid. I know I've said it a few times, but the young blokes I work with, they're not even that young. They're like 20, 19, and 20. And like, I go like, I wasn't that dumb when I was no. 20. And they're like, they're fucking dumb. They're getting dumber. They're and they listen to, to this TikTok. too. Do they? You know I'm talking about you, Who? Noodles. Let's name and show. Noodles, Josh, fucking Fraser. Fraser's a big fan too. Fraser. And he is- you're not that dumb. Fraser, he, you're sacked. No, nah, he's fucking you're sacked. You got my, how old is he? He's 18, I think. I'm going to deep throat you, Fraser. No, not deep throat you. You're, <laughs> <gonna> deep- <laughs> you're not going to deep throat me. He's like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that didn't go I'm coming to work and it. sucking your dick, mate. Anyway, tell me about these fucking dumb at the Delaney. Whoa, whoa. I did not call them dumb. Well, they're, they're whores. they are. They're yeah, whores. They're fucking idiots. Um, these slags, these cum guzzlers. Anyway, she was giving me the finger. And yeah, so she would have been like, yeah, I know. And I was just like, oh, you my You know, if that God. was a bloke, right? This is what I don't like. So if a bloke did that, you'd be fully entitled to take his phone off him, fucking peg Fling it against it. the wall and push him and say, fuck off. But because it's a girl, you just got to fucking. You can't do that, though. Although I could do it and get away with it. i tell you why. If it was a bloke, like. If, if, if it ever made, like, the newspaper or the Daily Mail or whatever, a comedian throws phone, yeah. I would call my next year's tour the phone chucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, I can Ari, run with it. Ari Shafir does that. Like he'll, yeah. he'll, like, he'll say something abhorrent and then he'll just name his next tour, yeah. like, when he made that terrible joke about Kobe Bryant and whatever, and he just yeah. names up the next tour. It's 100% what you should do. Just run with it. I, I love that shit. And yeah. that's what's fun about it. I, um, so, so they're giving me the finger. And I imagine it's because they've heard that I hate trans people or I hate gay people or I hate women or whatever else people think I hate. Yeah, no, I can't stand anyone except myself. Yeah. Why um, middle-aged men? Oh, middle-aged, please. I'm 29 next yeah, week. You look middle-aged. <laughs> Bras, I haven't looked middle-aged. What day's your I, birthday? Uh, the 14th of July. Fuck, that's so soon. I know. It's uh, Thursday next week. How good's that? Well, Thursday this week. Yeah, people listening in a couple of days. Yeah, so we'll have to do the podcast uh, another day, not Thursday. We're doing it Wednesday. We are too because you're away, yeah, aren't you? And haven't we got a guest? Oh, we do have a guest next yeah. week. Well, yeah. you have to bloody wait and see. Mm. Uh, and I've got four microphones now. Hey. Finally. Finally some fucking production value finally. in this joint. And I bought the cheapo one too. Yeah, of course. Because these, 700 bucks. <laughs> I was like, no way. Wow. 700 bucks each for these sure microphones. They do sound good. And Lordy hasn't even used his yet. Ungrateful. Do you, do you mind chirping in? <laughs> Testing. Hey! hey James Lord, welcome to the show. Huge moment. Producer Lordy, check him out on Instagram. It took us 30 whatever episodes to earn that microphone. episodes today. And just so you know, on Patreon, if you message me on Patreon, it's definitely not me replying to you. It's James Lord. Because yeah. he is the manager of Patreon. Because Lordy jumps in there. Let me. That's get, Lordy's penis that's getting sent to people. I'll get you. I'll, I'll get back on the story of. Um, oh, these the fucking shoelers. dickheads. But this is, um, this is Lordy pretending to be me talking to someone. <laughs> oh, <laughs> G'day, legend. <laughs> <laughs> Buttsman here. It's literally that. It's <laughs> yeah, hilarious. Yeah. So just so you know. You don't get that for your dollar a month. It's not actually Buttsy. 
this young guy called Bo said, wanted to drop your line, say how much me, oh, me and my boyfriend love you. I've watched you since the days of your tradie speaker. The uh, the old thing, because Sonny's back on. Hey, yeah, bro. Sonny's going back. I'm going full Tim Dillon. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I like it. Um, uh, Majestic Beard. And Lordy jumps back. Do you have back. any idea how much harder you've just made my job? <laughs> I know, but, <laughs> but now that people know it's you, I actually like that. He goes, geez, brother, thank you so much for the support. You keep me and me dogs fed. Let me <laughs> let me keep sharing content. Let me keep making shot. T- and let me and letting fuck me and letting me keep making content to share. This majestic beard has a mind of its own these days. <laughs> but you're a good motherfucker. <laughs> That's great. That's actually it. very good. I love it. I love it. That's so, unreal. So if you get a message, so message me on Patreon and you'll get a great impression of me done by James Lord. Yeah. That's great. That's fucking good. Yeah. That's very, very good. Um yeah. So Lordy, welcome to the show. We've got, uh, speaking of messages, we've got um, the, the penis. Or, I don't know if you checked the PO box this week. I haven't, but is it coming to the PO I, box? I think it's it? coming to the PO box. The so uh, James up in, in uh, Emerald in Queensland. Yeah, yeah. And I think he's got a airsoft range. You know, like the guns with the pellets? With airsoft or the- No, it's um, airsoft. Are you sure? Yeah, it's a, em- Emerald Airsoft was the page that he messaged me from. I think airsoft's illegal, isn't it? Fucking hope not, because James, James is going under. And, and also, no, well, he's got an Instagram page. So hey, Diggy. He, hey, Clary Dixon. We can't, we can't hear. You. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hello. Claire Hello. Dixon, Claire Dixon, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he sent us the, a penisaurus, and a, and we've got custom ones with our names on them, and then there's a, a vagina saurus. Saw that. Well, we can throw it on the new shelf behind me. Yeah. Congrats on the shelf. Yeah. There's going to be another one above it, but the boys, um, <laughs> they they didn't do it. Is this the <laughs> Jesus Chippy? Same, same boat. Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Did I tell you that story? Yeah, 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 yeah. The one that was singing. The one that was singing. So there's an update to the story. Let's go. People may have known it if they listened to the mum and dad show yesterday, but here it is. So basically I had a guy hanging these beautiful barn doors. Unbelievable. Un- gorgeous. Done right? a great job Done too. a great job. And Well hung. The whole, this guy was well hung. And the whole time he was here, he was singing hymns. Like very like, and the Lord said to me, come to me, Jesus. Oh, baby. Fuck yeah. So anyway, it was a bit weird. It'd be like me going into someone's house and going, G'day, you good motherfuckers, the back of <laughs> yeah. That type of shit. Which you would. Which Lordy would do for you me. Would, which you would and you would. Um, and so anyway, I his other work, the other workers who work with this dude were here yesterday. And I went up to him and I said, oh, what about old mate? He's, a bit of a, he's got a bit of a pair of lungs on him, loves singing. And old mate goes to me, looks me in the eye and goes, I love singing too. <laughs> I was like, what type of singing do you like? He goes, mainly gospel. I was like, oh. oh. So I said, being hilarious, and Claire like blew up at me in front of him. I said, oh, so you blokes are in a cult. Yeah, <laughs> no. Nice. And Claire goes, no, 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 it's not a cult. It is. <laughs> and apparently, yeah, it's a cult. That's so, funny. <laughs> they're all, um, he said, I said, so what are you, are you in cult? He goes, no, nah, man, we're just proud Christians. Just love God. Oh, so the whole crew. I don't know. I haven't asked everyone, but I will get around to it. I'm assuming fucking, well, geez, as we've said before, Jesus himself was a, was a chippy. That's what Claire and I said. And, yeah. and they're doing barn doors, so I don't know if they're Amish or what. Yeah, well, who knows? Hopefully it's not one of those like death cults where they'll drink the Kool-Aid. Well, like. I reckon they're Amish and they don't have podcasts, so they won't listen to Or them. one of those crazy like sex cults where there's like one leader and he's got like 20 wives and hopefully it's one of Wouldn't them. Wouldn't you hate that? Like a nice, not if you're the bloke. Okay, it's silky. You, <laughs> let me ask the this. If this was a crazy sex, well, not well, not this, but if if, if you had a crazy- Hypothetically, hypothetically, me, hypothetically. you and Lordy, three man sex cult. <laughs> I'm the leader. <laughs> and I'm married both of you. <laughs> and you got to se- fucking gotta, suck every I'm time. Gonna, I got a deep throat Fraser from your work site. <laughs> Fraser will be going, yes, yes, not again. So you seen Isaac lately? What a weird threat that I just said. I'm going to suck your- Anyway. Yeah. I'll suck your dick. Oh. If you were, uh, if you, we've, we've talked about this on the podcast before about having a threesome. Not us, but you having a threesome with two women. Yeah. And we basically, we're of the opinion that's impossible. I'm, I know we've said this before, barely sexually potent enough to satisfy one woman. So two is probably out of the equation. I'm very confident that I would have no chance pleasure, pleasuring, nah. pleasuring a two women at one. Nah. I, like the logistics of it, it would be hard. And like, it's like it'd be rock, too exciting. You just come straight away. It's like rock climbing. You know, you got to put your. Hands it is like rock hole. climbing. Yes, you, know, you got to put your feet. Make sure you got a bit of mm, tension on the on the cord. It is like rock climbing. Yes. It's exactly like rock climbing. You know, mm. you get your arms stuck. You got to chop it off. A cliffhanger. Very much so. Now, 20, 127 hours. Great movie. And you just get stuck, and you got to you cut, cut your, your arm off. Hand out of some woman's. Mm. Anyway, so um, <laughs> or put it in there, then cut it off. Um, so if you had twenty wives, how do you keep them happy? 
Because there's this new well, show I on assume Netflix not. this bloke with 20 wives. And he started marrying them at 14, so it's a bit off, a bit R. kelly I, uh, I assume they're not happy. <laughs> well, could you keep them happy? No, that's not the point. If you've got 20 of them, the point's to keep you happy, baby. <laughs> I imagine you'd be pretty happy. You'd be stoked. They'd be miserable. No, but what, would that's you, the point. Would you, do like, would you do musical beds? Yeah, I don't know. It probably got a couple of houses. And when one starts fucking yapping, <laughs> nagging you. That wouldn't happen, mate. You just go. Women, women are beautiful. No, well, you just fucking. I'm going, I'm going to the other missus' house. You turf her. You go, no, you don't here, turf her. Listen here, Daphne. I'm going over to Brittany's house. Yeah. You're talking shit. When I come back, fucking clean these drapes up, <laughs> make the bed. <laughs> and zip it up. And I want smoke go done and quit yapping. I'll be on my 15th divorce this and actually, week. Actually, the more we talk about it, the more appealing it sounds. <laughs> See, I reckon, so what would you do sexually? Would you line them all up in like some <laughs> like a like a weird like- like conga a line. Conga line of just, you just dip your dick in and then go on to the next one. Like how many dips does it take to pleasure a woman? That's the question, I guess. Again, I don't think they're getting a great deal out of this emotionally. Physically. Well, I mean, that's <laughs> your opinion. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't know until we try. I can't knock it until you try it. I reckon the sex one- Sex cults, they could be better than you think. The one person in this room who could really benefit from a sex cult is James Lord. Lordy, 100%. Lordy. Lordy. Um, how many wives do you reckon you would have in a sex cult? What'd be a max? Like What's how the many max wives? You, you could handle for a week? You've got a microphone. It's not working at all. That's convenient. Okay. Well, well, well let's just, I reckon, I reckon for me personally. <laughs> I'm going to say four for James. You four for four, Lordy? Four, 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 four wives. wives. I'd like, what are they, what's the odds? That two's company, three's a crowd. I'd be happy with two wives, I reckon. I reckon I could handle six. Six wives? Where are the women from? Oh, Jay, look at him sneaking back in. <laughs> he's really, he's thought about it and he's going, you know what? Well, that's a beautiful thing. You're the boss. So you just get to. Uh, if, and we've attracted attention of little dicks since she's walked in the room. <laughs> Claire, Claire, we're just talking about uh, having multiple. We're talking about polygamy. We're, we're come on in, on love. Polygamy. We're talking about how many wives you could have in one go and still like keep everyone happy. Here's one I'd like to see. What about like a woman with heaps of husbands? How many husbands do you reckon you can handle in one go? But say like, you know those weird sex cults where there's like one old dude and he's got like 20 wives. So say we'll just flip it. And That's like where one I met Claire. I broke her out of a sex cult. Nice. Yeah. Respect. Two, two's, yeah, two's too But many. two, would you say like two husbands would be nice? Watch out. She's getting a microphone. Sorry. Welcome to the show. I think, hello. I think more than two would be fucked. But two, two would be okay. I'd like two. I'd like the idea of two wives. One for romance, one for banging. Yeah. You can- you can, uh, yeah. <laughs> Are you trying to say something? No, but you have one that so you, one you hang that? out with and then you have one that you root and nothing else. I'm oh with Dixon on that God. one. You, you slam piece. Yeah. I can't believe this. You're trying to get rid of me for a slam no, piece. I'm no, I'm not. You're the romance one. You're not trying to get rid of you. You dickheads brought it up. <laughs> oh, well, so what? I, I'm not good enough for you. No, that's not what I'm saying. I feel like this wedding may, we are out of postponing the wedding. Oh, my God. <laughs> I just mean if you're going to have two, are you I gonna wouldn't. Ha- are you saying there's going to be at the wedding when the the, the priest, because we've got a priest, no, we don't. No, we don't. When, it, when Who's the, married? Yes. Some woman. Dana White. I want to do my, um. I want to do my, you can do, you, what's it called? Celebrant. You celebrant. can become a celebrant. Yeah, cool. I want to do that. great celebrant. Yeah, you should do it. That'd be good. So- I think you should do it. I yeah. think you really should. Yeah, you I know. should marry someone from the show. Yeah. Um, now <laughs> me. Now are you, cool. are you saying that when some, when the, you know the lady says the celebrant goes, is there anyone that objects? Yeah. Are you saying that you've got a dime piece on the side that's going to run <laughs> down with a massive big old cock saying it's me? His name's Littlefoot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, if you're going to have more than one, I think more than two is just foul. And you imagine how bad greedy. you – Yeah, you'd be greedy and your bits would smell. Mm. Well, I reckon 13. I reckon I can handle 13, 13 women. Unlucky for some. You'd be <laughs> able to satisfy at least three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, bye. See you, Clary. Thanks for that. That was good. See you, love. <laughs> so, <laughs> See you, love. <laughs> bye, darling. <laughs> newt, newt. Dinner's coming up soon. Not, not tonight it's on, mate. We're, we're Patreon it. Yeah, I know. We've only got a couple of minutes left of this show. And then How fun, what have we done? We've got about 15 minutes. Oh. That's all right. Well, get your credit card out, ladies and gents. What else um, is happening? So I haven't spoken about the girls. Ah, back to these fucking dickheads. The ones at the, uh, the Delaney who gave me the finger and filmed it. So you know what I did? I was dancing. I was like, do, 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 cutting a rug. Do, 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 cutting a rug. Give me the finger and film it. Ready? So this is what I did. I danced over. Fuck you, butts, man. And I went, I just put the finger down. With one hand, I went, nice, and danced away. All right, well that's how I handled it. Very well handled. That's how I handled it. Because I could have done a lot of things. Yeah. Could have, like, you know, beaten could've, them up. Could have taken my scorched earth approach. <laughs> Just 
fucking I could have pulled the plug out of the DJ. I said, no, everyone's going home. He snatched the microphone off the DJ and like, like the music scratches. Stop, 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 stop. Turn the fucking lights on. Tell who are you? Security, kick that bitch out. <laughs> I could have done that, but I just- That's pushed, nice. I pushed the finger down. There was another one. Very that, diplomatic. There was another one in, um, in Melbourne at the markets there, just in the middle of the day. <laughs> and this girl- What's wrong with people? She goes, hey, are you a racist? She was filming me. <laughs> and I just turned around like- <laughs> I was like, what? It's an odd question. She just said, Yes. Uh, I, well, I did have a T-shirt on that was said uh, "White Power," but that was that was, that was neither here nor there. <laughs> Your swastika tattoo um, was yeah, showing. it was oh, just only yeah. slightly. It's on my actually on my ankle. Mm. Um, but yeah, man, that's it's. What's it's not, wrong with people? It's not nice when you see that shit. Yeah, and we actually have spoke about this, Claire and I, today about a uh, a people who we're doing business with at the moment. Uh, I'm not going to say it because the wedding hasn't happened yet, so I don't want to upset them. <laughs> but we're pretty sure these people really hate us, but like us in person. Yeah. Like they they hate what we what we are like on the internet. What you're about, but your um, internet persona, my internet persona. But they really like us in real life. Well, that's cowardly from them, right? Yeah, it's like can't that's gutless. You, can't you see? Can that, you distinguish that one's not real and one is real? Well, I think that people can't. They cannot accept that some people have different opinions to them, and they can't accept that their opinions may be incorrect. Yeah, that's annoying. Pete, yeah. um, Pete Davidson's new Netflix special, he's talking about that at the start. Is he? When he's like, oh, it's fucking annoying Like people come up to you and they'll be like, oh, bro, like my friends think you suck, but like I think you're awesome. It's a great and backhand. He's like, he's like, thanks. Can, well, like, get, he's like, why can't people just come up and say like, hey, man, congrats, or don't fucking say anything. Like just mind your own business. I, get, I get the old, oh, man, I used to watch your videos. <laughs> that, thanks. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, someone pulled me up at the Cambridge a few weeks ago and he's like, oh. What are you doing with like oh, Isaac? Like, why are you doing that? I was like, because fucking, the heaps of fun. Like, he's me mate. Like, and he's like, yeah, but like, and like they could. I was like, who is this? Just some, who? Fuck, some fuck with. Do I know? No, no, no. It was no. It was no one like we know. It was just a punter. It was just a punter. And he's like, what? I was like, are we having this conversation right now? Like, what? 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 Like, they just wanted to come up and be like, I hate you, mate. I hate you, mate. And yeah. I was like, thank. I was like, thanks. It's a weird thing to say. Thanks for that. It? It's like, a weird. Appreciate thing to say. that. People. Oh, they say nice things or keep your fucking mouth shut. Yeah. So they treat, treat it like you'd treat anyone else. Yeah. Like if someone's wearing something stupid, you wouldn't go up and say, hey, mate, I fucking hate your clothing. But I'm should start doing that you when they say, like, yeah, well, your fucking shirt sucks and you You're, stink. Well, yeah. No, I, I gave that. The lady who was filming, I gave her a nipple cripple one. It was all good. Yeah. But yeah. Uppercut. No, it's 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 weird. It's certainly a weird thing. What's weirder is when you hear your name whispered. <laughs> it's so be. weird. Oh, is that Imagine the little people when they're like, "Oh my god, he's a little person." Yeah, person. and they're like, <laughs> "Yeah, they, that, the the um the little people we had on the the one the M word we can't say, <laughs> the mega midgets. They uh, <laughs> the pussy murdering midgets. Yeah, um, they were talking about so many people will like whisper about them and talk about them behind their back. And you know, I get it. Um, you know, they don't look uh, how normal people do. Yeah, uh, they're not a normal height and they're abnormal, yeah. if you will. But I mean. It is what it is. Like, what do you do? Not much. I'm like they oh, were cool. So like they seem to obviously. I'm sure there's a lot of psychological trauma, but they seem to right now. They seem to right now. They seem to right now. I was actually in a pokey room the other night, as I often do. Yeah, I was going to say <laughs> casual Tuesday. Just fucking and the uh, old scaffold is tight right up. I was by myself. <laughs> the bricky's like I was waiting to pick Claire up actually. Um, and uh, so I was in the pokey. Claire was in the TAB. Well, I went for. I was early, so I went for a beer, chucked a fifty, and you know. Press, press your life away. A couple of five dollar hits. You got it was all over. Yeah, but um, I think I got I woke up like seventy bucks. So I was in there for about, and then I got lost it all. But I was in there for um like ten minutes, and across the way from me there was like pokey machines in front of me, and then there was like another row behind behind those, and there was like these young kids sitting behind that one, <clears throat> and the whole time I'm there, they're going, "Is that Isaac Butter? Is that Isaac Butterfield? Is that Isaac Butterfield? Is that Isaac Butterfield? No, it is. No, it's not Isaac Butterfield." And one of them goes, hey, Isaac. And I go, hello. <laughs> I can hear you. And then, no, they kept going, it's not Isaac Butterfield, mate. You're a fucking idiot. It's not Isaac Butterfield. And I was like in there for 15 minutes. And then one of them comes over and goes, are you Isaac? And I said, yes, I can hear you. I've heard you this entire time. <laughs> and he goes, oh, I didn't know you could hear me. I was like, you're fucking two feet away from me, you idiot. <laughs> it's just a weird thing to get used to. Yeah. And because I'm such a big deal, I get it all the time. Yeah. He's still not used to it? Nah, man. I just try and. Like, you like I, the quiet life. I, I like the quiet life. Uh, I hate it when people come up to me. Like, I'm just like, don't fucking talk. I'm so above you. <laughs> yeah. I'm so above you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are beneath me. The fact that you think you can approach me right I, now. I cannot believe. Is embarrassing. Like, have you bought the merch? <laughs> have you come to a show? Then don't 
fuck. That's where our relationship ends. No, it's I, just strictly financial. I, I like the, the the interactions with people I like is like the, how you going? And they're like, yeah, good. Yeah. Like, yeah, sweet. So yeah. yeah, bye. There yeah. are some lovely people out there too. There's, yeah. like, there's It's like anything. You've got to take the good with the bad. Mm. There's some fucking legends out there too. Now I have a question. Yo. Do you watch Stranger Things? No, fuck no. What's wrong? It's a great show. No, nah, I'm sure it is. I don't watch. I don't really watch any series. It's a great show. Yeah. No. I, I, yeah. Well, what are you watching right now? Uh, a bit of some good shit on Red Tube. <laughs> Mainly Johnny Sin's best best work. How good's Johnny Sin? He's the guy. I'd. Love he's the Michael Jordan of pornography. I would love to have him on the show. I've hit him up a couple of times, and he just never replies to me. There was a while there, I was actually commenting on every post he made on Facebook, which was getting Johnny Sin's on the show would be fucking. Silky. Now, there's a man who could satisfy 13 women. Right. No and qualms. has. And has. No qualms. And has for many moons. Him and, is it Kissa? K- Kissa or Kira? Uh, they do some great work. That's his missus. Kira. Oh, right. Thanks. Yeah. I just ordered a bottle of water from uh, my my, um, <laughs> my Claire, I'm thirsty. <laughs> well, I was. How good soda water? I'm a big soda water man. Right. I love it. I have it on my bedside table. I, I sleep with it. Like yeah. No, love soda water. Um, so, Stranger Things. Here's the question. On the base. Do you know who Millie Bobby Brown is? So nope. Millie Bobby Brown it plays Eleven in Stranger Things, the girl, right? Her name is Eleven. What are you pulling faces at? What? Nothing. What? I what? Claire's. What Claire said, "I bet, I bet." That's all I heard. What? You're going to say, "Would you root her?" No, that's not the question. That's not the question. <laughs> I was sitting in the um, watching um, an edit before, and you were there, and I saw this story come up about Millie Bobby Brown. I've got it on my so phone. So Millie Bobby Brown's an actress in yes. Stranger Things, plays a that gir- is correct. girl named Eleven or an 11-year-old girl. What do, you, what do you mean? She plays a girl uh, who was brought up in a lab and her name is Eleven. Okay, like cool. they're named one, two, three, four, five, six, eleven. Makes sense. That's what you'd name your wives in a, in that relationship, in just po- to make shit easy. Relation. Just to make yeah. sure you got them all yeah. uh, on the go. Yeah. Yo, two, I'm hungry. <laughs> now, three, where's Smoko, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Can I have some water for? The more I talk about it, the more I want to be in one of those. <laughs> I like it. I really like it. Now, Seven. <laughs> there was an article published <laughs> saying Millie Bobby Brown looks amazing in this bikini. Now, Millie Bobby Brown, when Stranger Things started, was 12. That's hot. <laughs> <laughs> 12. So... I started to think to myself, there's the photo. She's 18 now. That's that's a weird. That's weird. Isn't it? That's weird. It is weird. She doesn't even look that good either. No, she doesn't. She looks <laughs> shit. That's weird. Like, why, why, why can news outlets get away with this fucking shit? So if wh- I posted that, imagine if I just posted on the Daily Blue, Millie Bobby Brown looks, looks amazing good. in this bikini. <laughs> People would be outraged. You should and compare the pair. I'd be I'd be up on fucking child sex, like Not pushing again. child sex material. Not again. Not again. So <laughs> you're gonna get three strikes, so, mate. Three strikes. <laughs> that was your three strikes and you're out. But why can news.com post that's that? Weird. That's so, not news either. That's, that's just news. fucking weird. That's not news. So she's sitting there standing there in a bikini. <laughs> oh, and, and I think Bobby Brown looks good. Mm. I feel weird about it. You should because that's- she was a kid like three weeks ago, four weeks ago, and now it's okay. No, it's that's weird. The but, world's weird. Man. But there is a Pornhub uh, category, allegedly. I'm, someone told me for eighteen, like eighteen year olds. Yeah, it's weird. So when does it become okay? And I have a follow up question that will, this will all make sense. So what was the first question? Don't know. Is she one of me wives? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, eleven. Yeah. So is that okay to look at that, or are we creeps? That's weird. I think it's creepy. I think it's weird. I think it's weird. I've screenshot it. I'll look at it later properly yeah. and really get down to the box. We'll and go have a time on. on the Patreon. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, it was the same with Bad Barbie. Remember Bad Bay Bay, Bad Barbie, which was, was on she? the uh, Catch Me Outside Girl on yeah. Doctor Phil. She stayed on an OnlyFans that Claire and I reviewed, and it's weird because she, when she was on Doctor Phil, she was like thirteen years old, but now she's eight, eighteen or nineteen. Yeah, you, especially when you're our age, like when you're pushing thirty and you're talking about mm. eighteen year olds. Yeah. It's so awesome. Do you have mates? <laughs> you'd have mates who are about thirty years old. My, all, all my mates are like my age, so they'd older. be cha- any single ones chasing the young ones. They like the nah, young. We're ones. too repulsive, mate. And that's the thing. Like, unless you're like, I think the only, I don't know, my opinion, the only kind of guys that go after those girls and can get those girls are like fuck boys. Mm. You know, like dudes that like hair, probably fake tan, gym, like care about their look. That's kind of like fuck boys go for them. All my mates are like fat tradie mm, dogs. 
dogs. Like yeah. we're all gross, and yeah. like we're the, the boys. When we go out, the single boys are just tackling horrors. At the, like they're they're in the slips cordon at the kebab shop at the end of the night. Just <laughs> wait for these big girls to clock and we go. You let's well, go. <laughs> like there's no yeah. Like nah. on a fishing boat when they ca- actually accidentally catch a whale. Yeah, and we've got to strap them <laughs> in and we're like, get this thing home. Like <laughs> Quick, a couple of us have got a team lifter. Quick, up the get team, it home. Team lifter up the stairs. <laughs> Put her in one of those pensioners lifts yeah. up the stairs. Yeah, hundred percent. You've got and she she needs a snack pack as well. <laughs> And that's number Get 13. Get her an extra large snack bag. And she's made the cut. That's 13. <laughs> oh, big Shaniqua. Yeah. Nah, so, yeah, I mean, me, me and my mates are too old and fat and gross to be going for sexy young 18-year-olds. But Oh, sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Millie's in the team. I told you, mate. That's 11. <laughs> The reason I asked That's is. like your first 13. You know, like you get to pick like a footy team. It's the like Prime who, Minister's 11. Who's in your – Bluey's 13. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my uh, sex cult will be called, like Bluey's 13. Why don't you write that – put that on the Daily Blue. Come up with your, <laughs> come up with your 13 wives. Bluey's 13. Bluey's 13, the and sex like, cult. It's like the phone – you know when Brad Fittler rings blokes to tell them they've made origin <laughs> and I ring you to tell you you've made the 13 and they're like, it's not the phone call you want. They're like, hey, yeah, you made the team. And they're like, oh, no. It's ringing in the middle of the night. It's 4 a.m. And you're like, you've made the team, you made the team. You're in the squad. Congratulations. We're moving out of the ranch. <laughs> the sex ranch. <laughs> you know. Bluey's first 13. You know when you get a um, like a, 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 like a, a dude calling from overseas and he's selling something, but yeah. like you say hello and they don't answer straight yeah, away. Yeah, they yeah. wait a few seconds. Yeah. Like what would your – like silence, instead of silence, what would be the noise that they know it's you? Just fapping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's Bluey. Oh, fuck. It's too late to hang up or it's a FaceTime call. Yeah. Just in the dark. Just, I know you can see me. <laughs> You're in 13. Bluey's first 13. Report for Udi for a medical on Monday. That's fucked. <laughs> That's fucking crook. And we are at the hour. Time Ladies to switch to Patreon. Get over to Patreon right now. I will name my 13 on Patreon. <laughs> name the 13 I'm on Patreon. Name. Ladies Dollar and gentlemen, month. you're going to- We're going to go through and name Bluey's 13 on Patreon right, right now. now. So we'll see you next week. Cans me now. It's, for, it's only a dollar. So it's only a dollar. So head over there and that's for a month. Okay. So thank you very much for your support, ladies and gentlemen. Bluey Nielsen, Isaac Butterfield, Little Dicky, James Lord. We'll see you next week. Toodle-a-wa-wa. Bye-bye. Peace. Stop that.